But like, if they're from like Kentucky or something, I'm not entirely sure how we ever would have heard of them. All right, so we got Fox Kirby. Fox Kirby. Wow. Okay, so this is not Bi and Janitor. Yeah. We'll get those names fixed for you in a second. So we're, we're seeing this Fox throw a lot of lasers, and in the Kirby matchup, that's not generally the most effective thing to do. Just because Kirby is so small, the laser can go right over him. And if yeah. he chooses to crouch, there's no way you can possibly hit him with a laser. Yeah, up air, not going to help that much. Oh, is that crouch cancel on the up smash? Uh, maybe. I, I think it's just up smash. Wasn't quite ready to go. But I don't know, on the side platform at 100%. There was probably some DI involved, I think you're right. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, Fox shouldn't have to recover really close to the, to the stage right there. Yeah, so the, the traditional logic for this matchup is that Fox wins it on the stage and Kirby wins it off the stage. Yeah. And it is absolutely true that anytime that Fox is off the stage, there's basically no excuse for him not to die. Yeah. Unless you're a leader. Basically, on edge guard. Basically. But LD knows some sort of magic spell that that no other that no other fox does. So we'll have to see if uh, if Zero Bomb Jake is able to figure out. Yeah, is able to figure out some of LD's magic, and we'll have to see if Scruffy the Wonder Trumpet can. There we go. The classic. Nice, nice jab up smash. We'll have to see if the Scruffy McWonder Crumpet can figure out how to counteract any magic that he might have. Oh, no DI on the downer. Yeah, Zero Bomb Jake was holding the top platform there, which is probably good because Fox doesn't really want Kirby to be involved. There's not much he can do to challenge Kirby's downer. Yeah, lasers, however, are, are not keeping him from uh, getting up to the top platform. And then Zero Bomb Jake was there with a raw forward speed. Yeah, he was. He was he got back to the stage just in time. Oh, got the ledge cancel, able to get them back there. That was pretty nice. So at this point, I don't know how much Zero Bomb Jake's going to get off of additional lasers because Kirby is basically at the percent that most things will, will kill at. Like down tilt. Wow. Yeah, right. Like up smash is going to kill. Up air would probably kill from about side platform height. Yeah. Down tilt might have been able to kill from the ground. But yeah, up smash is definitely going to take it at like 120%. All right. So yeah, that zero bomb Jake, or sorry, Scruff, Scruffy McWonder Crumpet played that way more conservatively oh, than he really had to. He fast fell. Probably don't want that. Or uh, fast fell from a little too low. Yeah. So zero bomb Jake taking the first game. Okay. One thing Scruffy McWonder Crumpet was doing right was he was he was staying above Fox a little bit. But he wasn't throwing as much. He wasn't throwing out as much materials as as uh, Zero Bomb Jake. Mm -hmm. right, uh, we, we got the up tilt chain right here. Yep. Personally, I've I've always liked to call that the Mewtwo King combo. The up tilt chain. Yeah, because that's like the one combo he knows how to do in 64. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so there's Scruffy McWonder Combat getting uh, off the dub tilt chain, clenching the stock early on. Oh, yeah. here's another one. A nice tech chase. He yeah, doesn't get the reverse. Yeah, that's something he wasn't doing much in the first game, like doing as many up tilts. He was like, trying to play more uh, the air game. Yeah. Now it looks like he's. Uh, the air game, or the ground game, has been working out for him pretty well so far. Oh, oh I missed the dash. Uh, but not that there. time. I always like to mention this. I'm pretty sure that Fox has had jab up smash in all four Smash games. Like even in Brawl, he had jab up smash. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with Brawl, but neither am I. That's like one of the only things I know about it. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, so there was. We sort of saw Scruffy sort of going for the air, but then he yeah. decided to go back to the ground, and Zero Bomb Jake was ready for him. Oh, and again, Z cancel. That's uh, that's the third jab up smash. Well, that's the third up smash stock that Zero Bomb Jake's gotten this. Or, well, no, he's only gotten two stocks this game. Yeah. So it's pretty sure it's the second jab we're up smash. Predicting he's gotten the this future game. right now. Uh, we yeah, we, we will see if the, pro if the prophecy comes true. Yeah. I think I was just remembering how he did it last game too. Yeah. 
That looked oh. like good DI from uh from Scruffy McClunder Trumpet. Oh, I thought he got the read and just yeah. go for like a down tour or something. Yeah, or or if he just kept running, he could have gotten an up smash probably. Yeah. Hard grab. Oh, so oh the gangsta laser. Swag lasers coming out. Oh, uh, and there's number three. <laughs> That's the hat trick. We can see if he can uh he can go all in on it. Oh, uh, there you go. Up to him. Oh, there. Oh, oh dang. Just missed it. And again, he, yeah, you missed the dash. Yeah, that won't do it. It's too stale. Ooh, oh, jab yeah. forward smash. Let's go for a forward smash. It went for the twist on the last stock. Alright, zero bomb deck.